Hello everyone, Bernard Eugene Berenger Jr. here on YouTube. I'm archiving this one on YouTube so that you can go there and find it and share it. I'm reading 2 Peter 3rd chapter 8th verse. But beloved, be not ignorant. In other words, understand spiritually. Have knowledge of this. Have wisdom of this. Be not ignorant of this one thing, that a day with the Lord is as a thousand years and a thousand years as a day. I believe Peter was quoting somewhere out of the Old Testament. Could have been Psalms or Proverbs. But anyway, Peter stated this in 2 Peter 3.8. All right, that's King Jimmy, King James. Now, the point I want to make on the whiteboard, I did it in 60 seconds on YouTube, really quick, and I'm geared down speed-wise here. I want to explain it to you. I want you to understand it. I went to an accountant who was retired, a brother in the Lord, and I gave him that scripture. A day with the Lord is a thousand years. A thousand years is a day. Okay? A thousand years is as a day with God, all right? So I asked him, I said, how long is an hour? Because, hear me, when the Holy Spirit comes to me and says something to me, I say thus and so. If it's my opinion, you don't have to believe it, uh, whatever you want to call it, conspiracy theory, whatever. But when the Holy Spirit speaks, I say, the Holy Spirit said to me, in my mind heart, all right? And I understood it. He came to me and said, we're in the last hour of my time clock. Now, you may be reading it backwards, all right, here. God's time clock. you got to learn to read in the Hebrew direction, the English direction, north and south. you got to come at it from all directions. There's a cube, six sides, the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height, a cube. Six sides. And usually I come in the most unusual way, through a trap door in the floor. <laughs> anyway, so much for my humor. God's time clock. This is a clock. Look at the center, all right? Look at the center. I used to be a mechanic for over 10 years. All right? 41.67 is what the bookkeeper came up with, all right? Now, because it's 6.7, 6, 6, we can round up to 42. Every 15 minutes on God's time clock is 10.5 years. Because when we get done with four 15-minute segments, we've got 42. Are you with me? All right. Now, God said we're in the last hour. Now, we may be halfway through. And we have 21 years left. But we could be in the last 15 minutes and only have 10.5 years left. And we're living now in 2024. In six more years, it'll be 2030. All right? The Great Reset. The New World Order. World Bank. World Church. They're trying to destroy the United States economy. Destroy the number one biggest liberty and freedom country in the world so they can bring in the great reset by 2030 or at latest 2035. They may have to move it back a bit if it's not moving fast enough. But we could be in the last 15 minutes, 10.5, and from 2024 to 2030 is six more years so you're going to see the economy of the United States really take a dive and get tough in 25, 26, 27 as we head for the Great Reset. No more green money or change. It'll be all digital. It'll be all World Bank. Each of the 10... Get your computer out and find out where all the 10 World Banks are in the world. I think China's got two or three of them, at least two, I know for sure, okay? World banks, well, f 53 or 54 
trillion dollars of digital assets. Not billions, trillions. Okay? World banks in charge of everything coming down from the top, from the super wealthy. All right? So here we are. 41.67 is years. Let's get years on there. 41.67 years is one hour. Break it down in 15 minute segments. 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 5. That's if we round this 41.67 because it's beyond 50 up to 42. Get it? And here we are today as I'm talking to you in 2024. Six years from now, 2030, the Great Reset. So now you can pass this on to other people. I put it out there on TikTok in 60 seconds and I was flying. I love you. More spiritual truth from the Word of God. That was 2 Peter 3, 8, I believe. Anyway, it's in the third chapter of 2 Peter. Have a great day. Blessings of God be upon your life.